Hey guys, it's Emily, and we're here to talk rocks. Yeah. <laughs> so today we're gonna talk about one of my favorite rocks. It was actually found in Dallas, Texas, where I'm from. Whoop. And it's a really radical rock. Again, one of my favorites. So it's a septarian nodule. Look at how spectacular this is different colors and textures and what's even cooler about it is that it actually comes in a geode form geode meaning that on the outside looks much much different than it would on the inside so this outside piece just looks like a regular old rock and in the inside when you crack it open boom crystals what all right we've got white, excuse me, yellow calcite. And then you've got the sparkly veins here that are going all around here. That's brown is called aragonite. And on the top part, this is limestone up top there. So you've got three, three different all in this rock stones. It's calcite, aragonite, and limestone. Cool. <laughs> But what's really awesome about these ancient, you heard me, ancient rocks, as they come from the prehistoric times, the Cretaceous period to be exact, and that was actually 50 to 70 million years ago. What? Yeah, 50 to 70 whole million years ago when the dinosaurs were roaming the lands. Boom, boom. Boom. That's crazy. That's all this thing is. What? So volcanoes erupted. This is how these things formed. So these volcanoes erupted. And volcanoes had this hot magma that comes down. And it went down into the oceans. And it killed off some sea life. And when it killed it off, these carcasses attracted other sediments forming these mud balls. Mud balls. Who doesn't love mud balls? <laughs> mud balls. So these mud balls <clears throat> formed and then the ocean started to recede. So the oceans got lower and lower and lower. And when it did that, these mud balls started to crack. And these crevices formed inside and it allowed for crystals Yep, crystals to form inside of these rocks forming 50 to 70 million years ago. Remember what? Yeah, so that, I think that is just wicked cool. So it's like a fossil, I mean, it's that old. And I mean, these do have prehistoric creatures. Their carcasses are in this rock. So it is, it's so cool. So it makes me feel when I hold this, like I'm holding this ancient rock and it definitely has this electrifying feeling about it. And I love that. It makes me feel human again, knowing that this was started to form 50 to 70 million years ago. That's a long time ago. So it definitely makes me feel grounded on this earth and it reminds me I'm human. So it has a forgiving feeling to it when you hold it. I like that feeling. Also, we have it all around our house and on the, um, in our outside, in our rock garden. We love it that much. Um, so yeah, my husband and I found this in Dallas, Texas in this creek bed and we had a blast digging these up. So we have lots of them at the house. Um, I think that's just a neat knowing that there's still many rocks out there to be found. So when you're out there on your adventure or fun journey, there's still rocks out there, still radical, awesome rocks to be found. So uh, yeah, I'm gonna show you a few more that are my favorite here. So this is a little bit different, um, Septarian. It's got white calcite in it. Calcite comes in different colors. And it still has that beautiful sparkly chocolate looking aragonite. Those veins there through it. 
those are those crevices that those mud balls um, started to crack and there's where those got to form so that's really neat and then the limestone up on the top there so I have another um, geode but it's been cracked a little bit so you can kind of see so on the top here is the geode it's the geode that's the limestone and then it's been cracked open so that's what it would look like when you crack it open and then here's like a little piece that you get which is really neat just seeing even a little piece of the septarian nodules this piece is pretty awesome too it's got a lot of the yellow calcite and a little bit of the aragonite on there so i love how veiny and the different textures and the way that the calcite up here even formed definitely reminds you of something from the dinosaur times septarian nodule and you can find this um in madagascar and even in utah I've heard people have found this as well. So really neat rock. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed the information about Septarian Nodule. And join me again soon. We'll have some more information about other really radical rocks. Bye guys.